Uh, g'day, Carmine DeMaria from CAD Custom. We're in, in Melbourne, Tullamarine. And uh, yeah, we've got a custom hot rod and uh, rest day shop. Uh, we've got uh, Glenn Sutherland is the owner of this, uh, this Chevy 1966 Impala. Uh, bought it to us a little over a year and a half ago. Uh, the build started out as one and then progressed into something far greater as they, as they do. It's got a really, really tough motor, so uh, the car was to be built a tough, good handling street car so we can throw the family in it, drive it down to the drags, kick the family out, run it down the track, put them back in and go home and, and everyone's had a, has a really good day, you know? It's, it's standard body, standard body and paint. Um, we've got full ride tech uh, billet suspension from the States. Um, it basically bolted in just a couple chassis mods, original chassis at the front. Um, coil overs so it handles well. It's got Willwood brakes on it obviously to, to complement that. Um, custom made radiator and fans to keep it cool. So with the 18 inch rims we've chosen on the car, they're actually factory looking rims, they're 18 inch billets, uh, which replicate the 15 inch steelies. We're uh, going to keep the 15 inch steelies so we can put big fat Mickey Thompson on the back so when he goes to drive the Heathcote drags he can put them on and it, it still look really tough and, and suit the front wheels. Yep. And um, they're from American Republic, they're 18 by 8s on the front, 18 by 10s on the rear. Uh, motor's a big block, it's punching at about 850 horsepower, uh, top end's Brodix. Um, we've actually put a gear vendor on it because he wants to drive it a lot, we've put a gear vendor on it uh, to give it more legs obviously throughout the gears um, and a big 120 litre fuel tank so he's got, don't have to stop as much so I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to use a lot of fuel so uh, he wanted that practicality, air conditioning, power steering, all the, all the comforts so it really is going to be a, a sweet driver. So when you get to the interior, uh, the interior is done by the trim shop which is Emmanuel Bizzano. Does a, he does all 99.999% of our work, does a great job. The guy's got some great concepts and, and he does a lot of his own fabrication. You'll notice there's a, a custom little dash that he's made with drink containers. Uh, his line work, he, he, he does his uh, aluminium rods. He puts those in the door cards. He, he does a really good job. The owner really stressed him. He, he wasn't, he's a good hard working Aussie farmer. He didn't want it too flash and out of control. So it, it's very subtle and, and, and I believe Manuel's nailed it. He's, he's trimmed the dash. Um, there's, Creature Comforts, it's got uh, USB ports under the seat, those kind of things. So yeah, he, he thinks a lot manually and does a really, really good job. The bodywork, we you'll notice when you look down the side of the car, it's actually very, very straight. So our, our technique when we block cars, we use a little bit of a, a different technique to most people, uh, which gets the cars really, really straight. It's called splining. Yeah. We, we did go a little bit overboard. It, for, for months there, it looked like the car hadn't changed and he was getting these bills, looking at his car going, come on. <laughs> What's happening with the car? It's you know it still looks the same. So the, the bodywork, although standard, we've um, you look at it and you'll go, geez, that that's really nice and it flows. The reason it does that is because we've actually exaggerated the sharpness of the lines. So you can you can look at the contour of the body, the sharpness of the lines are, are pointier, sharper. They flow, flow in together. They, they weren't built like this in, in '66. The door gaps, you know, are, are, are done as best as we could get them. Being pillarless too, it was, it's pretty hard to, to get those doors to line up and stay straight because you've got no, no strength in the centre of the vehicle. So the, the boys at work have really excelled themselves on this one. So the rush was to get at the Summonats this year because the owner, Glenn Southern, and his family are big, big Summonat fans. We took the car there. We, we did some big hours to get it there. We, know it's a, we knew it was a really nice car, but uh, we're really overwhelmed with all the awards we won. We uh, got second for interior. We got uh, first for bodywork, first for paintwork first uh, in four-door sedan and overall uh, best judge street at Summonats 29 which actually blew everyone away.